Brooklyn dominatrix says she's being forced out of her bed apartment by neighbors who object to her business. Neighbors are apparently not happy with the noise, including slapping and screaming. Hmm. I would just use reporter Darla Miles is live from bed with more. Darla? Well, Sade, Charlotte Taylor says she will not stay where she's not wanted, so she's already planning to move. But she says the challenge is, even though she has yet to move, the neighbors are still protesting outside of her apartment. And I must warn you, some of the language in this piece can be a little graphic. It gets to you. It's, it's upsetting. Very. Hurt your feelings? Totally. Dominatrix has that feelings too. Even though Charlotte Taylor wears black latex and uses a whip, it's the antics of her neighbor that hits her in the gut. Can you imagine having people scream outside that you're going to snatch a kid? And a weirdo guy to come here, they're to lick this man. This is cell phone video of a woman screaming outside of Taylor's building in bed -Stuy, seemingly upset and protesting against the 30-year-old's home-based BDSM business, the Taylor Collective. We're wonderful people, but we like to learn how to spank somebody safely and how to use a whip without breaking someone's skin or doing it safely, if that's what you guys are into. It's a great place for young people. Out Taylor says the ranting and raving has been accompanied by this not in my backyard flyer and community meetings to kick her out of the neighborhood. Do you feel like you're being intimidated into leaving? Oh my God, harassed, intimidated. Everyone has cried over this. And so Taylor plans to move as soon as she raises the $15,000 it will take to break her lease and uninstall her technical equipment. The GoFundMe page is really like a get me out of here immediately save me because I don't want to be you know we don't want to stay here with this woman screaming outside but but we, it, we it's not a food truck we can't just pick up and leave now one point of clarification we didn't speak with any neighbors today who complained of clapping and screaming and we did try to speak with the neighbor seen yelling in the cell phone video we made several attempts to reach her today but we were unsuccessful by the time of this broadcast